is trying, but the shot is just my broom. 14-8. All the way in, I guess. Okay, close. 14-8, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the 2023 Stu Sells 1824 Halifax Classic. Live from the Halifax Curling Club in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia. We're getting to the end of the round robin in our men's and women's competitions. And if you're tuning in, you are here to watch Caitlin with Silky take on Jessica Daigle. This is the last round robin game for both these teams. Team Daigle throwing the yellow rocks with Silky with red. After draw to the button and their pregame practice, Team Daigle getting the hammer. A little wider. So Team with Silky started us off and for Team with Silky we'll do an introduction. Lead Alice Hollyoak, second Stephanie Thompson, third Lauren with Silky and skip Caitlin with Silky. First one slipped into the ring, so looking for a guard on the second one, and that'll come up. Yeah. Tight guard. Team Dago, of course, with uh, a hit on their leads first. That's Lindsay Burgess. Yeah. And a bit of a lineup change for this team. They've been playing with three with spares for this competition, and uh, today with their regular player, Marley Powers, yeah. who uh, would normally be here, but she's out. She's off to mix nationals. So we've got... Taylor Stevens in and Kate Callahan. But I don't know what lineup they're throwing, so I'll let you know. Coach Kevin letting me know Kate Callahan's throwing second and Taylor Stevens throwing third. That one. Just, uh, I think, tick the guard there, unfortunately, for Lindsay on her second. So a couple guards out front, and now might see a few rocks in play here. 11. As All Stephanie Thompson Always Alice. trying to hit that yellow top 12 stone, stick around. Hard for nose. Hard, hard, hard. Okay, 10, six. Good. This event, of course, brought to you by Steel Subaru Neon Train and the Stew Cells Realty Team. It's part of the Stew Cells series of curling, That's series okay. of competitive curling events held largely in Eastern Canada. This is the Atlantic portion of the tour. The sixth year for the men's event here in Halifax and the third year for the women's event. And the returning champion for the men's event or the defending champion, John Epping. Yeah, they're here this weekend, but Team Caitlin Law is the winners for the women's last year. They're not here, so we'll have a new women's champion for sure. Both teams not getting a ton of curl there on those hits, so nothing in the rings now. Caitlin with Silky will ask Stephanie to come around. Almost took the front guard there. A little, little heavy on this one, going to the back eight foot. Still good for Team with Silky, though. They're trying to shut down the scoring area, of course. And we have a surprise guest joining us. We were... Uh, Begging for a little bit of help on the commentating, so I got uh, doing double duty this week. 
Matt Manuel is skipping his own team in this event. What's what's going on, Stu Sells curling fans? What's happening? Thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Yeah. Excited to be here. It's a little, it's a little wider, so I think it's in the. If I uh, if I come across a little biased, because uh, Jess is my girlfriend out here, so shout out to Jess and team. I was just explaining they've had a bit of a lineup change, especially this weekend with Marley going off to mix. So Kevin, let me know the lineup. Shout out Team Nova Scotia. Going to represent us well, no doubt. Very experienced lineup. Team uh, Walsilky, Walsilky. Caitlin and Lauren Walsilky, sisters. And they've both been curling for a long time, 24 and 26 years. This is their first time at this event in Halifax. Hopefully not their first time in Halifax. But if it is, welcome. Pretty busy first end here going on. Love to see it, keep the fans entertained. Yeah, we usually have pretty open first ends, but uh, I like seeing the rocks in play. As a player though, do you tend, is that your strategy, Matt, to uh, keep things a little more open? You're usually, you usually got all kinds of stuff in play. Yeah, you know, with the eight ends, it can uh, go by pretty quick. Uh, it's fun to get some rocks in there when you're playing on great ice like this. Um, there's lots of, Lots of opportunities to make good shots out there, so you can only make them if you give yourself the opportunity to make them. So, uh, love to see this for uh, both teams. They must be feeling good with the ice so far this week. Kind of got a good handle on it now. Uh, game four for both these teams, so um, expect to see a lot of made shots out here. Quick shot. Easy so this is Taylor Stevens. Trying to get that curl. They're playing the softer weight. Nice roll right into the forefoot. It's a great shot. That pull is not there. Yeah. Not a bad pickup for the team. Uh, former, just two years ago, Canadian junior champion. Absolutely. So now the run back. This is Lauren Wasilki. Looks a little tight early there. Gonna have to go hard on this one. Get a little feather tick through the hole there maybe. Squeak it in. Nice little audible there. That worked out actually quite well for them, all things considered. That's not a shot you would usually just call straight out either, so good plan B. Hard to hard to call it and make it. For Team Daigle, looks good to sit three here. Yeah, great chance here to uh, capitalize on the first end. So even though Team Daigle doesn't have hammer, really good chance to shut down the scoring area. Force with Silky to a single or a tough shot for a single. That's the goal. Oh, I was saying. I know the team Daigle has hammer, but uh, I wasn't sure. I, I flip flopped <laughs> there. I said it earlier. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Just either. trying to sit three. Oh, and the unfortunate rub off and ticks the round out the back. I told everyone the right thing, Matt, and then I forgot. Well, I was I showed up two minutes late, and I was trying to count the rocks, and I, I thought like maybe I counted wrong, so I rolled with you. <laughs> you can all, if it runs, no, that's all me. <laughs> yeah. Still a good chance here. No. Uh, no rocks up the center line, pretty open for Team Daggle to make sure they score. Sitting two, uh, Wasilki still has to be pretty careful here. They're gonna need a, need a good one here to uh, get out of this end without giving up a two. So they don't wanna nose this. They'd like to either flop under or, or make a bigger roll to the wide side. Just soft weight though. We're seeing teams, I think the first couple of days throw more of a controlled and normal weight, but a lot of Hack, board, 
selections being made over the past day. Did you find your team did that too, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. The ice is playing really, uh, really in favor of dropping the weight down that half second or second on the hogs and uh, bringing your sweeping into play as much as possible. Um, you can get a lot of movement on the sweep to curl. and uh, Unlucky tick there oh. from Caitlin. Didn't get the plan B on the back one. Yeah, those hurt. Those hurt. Can we ever split those Speed this way, I think really good chance for yellow way. now. Yeah. Maybe maybe looking oh, at something a little greedy right here, but okay. they're gonna consider it. There's two potential splits realistically, so you might have two tries. Yeah, and I see what they're thinking there. If you you draw around the corner, you know she's gonna be hitting that rock top four to try and flop under everything. So if you can move that corner around you you take away a lot of her spots to hide. So not definitely not a bad call if you execute. We're always going to have it on my last two, though, I think is kind of what we, we say this for. Yeah, my, my first thought is right there, Taylor. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it yeah. doesn't have to be, like, really we like can be just middle. splitting center line, too, right? Yeah. I think I like this. Um, just going to try and cap it off yeah. so they can't hit the shot rock and roll anywhere good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're going to leave her a, a, a makeable double, but not a gimme. And uh, you're basically going to guarantee yourself a pretty, pretty simple look at at least your two. And... If they don't capitalize, a pretty simple look at three or maybe even more if uh, they roll out or something. So I think this is a nice, easy first end call. Keep it simple. Uh, they, they'll know how to make this one. They should be close. I was just going to ask. I, they might be leaving it short, but just a biter. I like the biter as far away from that shot stone as possible, but still in. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Best case is definitely sit in three here, put the pressure on uh, Wasilki, the make them want to hit here. something. Yeah. Well, this is Jessica Daigle with her first of two skip stones in the first end. Sweepers like the uh, like the weight. They're sweeping to curl, but we're seeing really good finish. Looks close. That's, uh, that's not a bad result there. Yeah, if you're going to miss heavy, at least line it right up on the nose of the shot stone. It'll be a hard double, and the shooter would roll out for Caitlin if she tries to, uh, to make this tough double. They're pretty close together. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we'll see them probably opt here for the nose hit. Uh, try to keep it all lined up and make uh, Team Daggle draw to uh, the forefoot for their two. Uh, but tricky call as well. Got to be careful. If you roll off, you're giving up a, a soft three. So, uh, Yeah, and a roll is tough to outcount that side 12, and you'd be giving up the two more easily. I like the, the nose hit. It's just what weight, and where do you put the broom? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, these rocks are pretty lively out there, actually, with the way the ice is playing as well. So she might be feeling like she can get those to fly, which she probably could, but you gotta be, uh, got to be precise. We're talking about the double. Those are so close together, but like you said, they're lively rocks. And we've seen the ice hold up really nicely, all events so far. Really good speeds. I think this morning was the fastest I've seen it running. Yeah, absolutely. It's been... Uh, Really great ice out there, super consistent all week long. Uh, huge shout out to Adam and the Halifax Curling Club for uh, all their hard work. It's uh, a lot of work getting these uh, clubs ready for an event like this. I know Adam's out there getting ready for this weeks in advance and uh, a lot of, lot of man hours, volunteer hours as well. He's got a team out there helping him. So uh, it's pretty impressive what they're uh, able to do when they uh, put the time in. Give our, uh, give our great players out here a chance to make a lot of shots. Looks like we opted for the double here. Can they hold it high enough? This curled earlier. Watch that close. yellow. Can't sweep it till it's past the tee. Just doesn't go out. So close. And uh, unfortunately for Team Wasilki, now... Jessica can look at this shot, which we talked about a few stones ago. 
I was wondering what Jess is talking about there, that kind of a double yeah. split. Right I love board. that idea. That would be quite the shot. It's going to be yeah. spinning away the second one, I think, right. unfortunately, kind of along the Scotty's yeah, logo, but yeah, definitely a very, very makeable there. shot here to get this on for their four. Back line. You'll have to go hard on I think it's a good weight it. choice yeah. back line. You always have to throw a little bit more weight than you think when you're planning to move two stones, but of course they'd be aware that yeah. if you don't make contact with the second stone, that you don't want to uh, spin your shooter out. Yeah, absolutely. This is a Taylor's hit in this path. Always wanted to curl here. Yeah. Yeah. Referencing another rock they threw earlier in the end. I think they, uh, they're going to like their chances here. Last stone, the first end. Daigle with Silky. Daigle looking for a potential four. On it early. Hack. Hack's heavy. Still curling. She's close. Very close. Money. That is good curling right there, folks. Great shot. Great team shot there. And that all happened in the last few shots. There was just a the wick on Caitlin's first and opened up the door for a big score of four for Team Daigle. They'll lead four nothing after the first with Silky with hammer and two. We want to make note of our partner sponsors at the Stew Cells 1824 Halifax Classic Murphy Hospitality Group, Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, Crombie Reet, Scotia Square. And the curling store. Taylor puts that big four up on the board. Lindsay Burgess is going to start us off. They don't want to leave this one a guard. Yeah, nice. Good, good save. 14 9. So good to get that one in. Sorry for the fuzziness, everyone. We just seem to have a little bit of an issue with a cord on a mic, but we think we figured it out. Line will be fine. So team with Silky, they'll want to get some rocks in play, and we're seeing the corner guard call from Alice Hollyoke. Might have wanted that one a little bit higher. It's Pretty tight to the rings, but with the nice curl, you can get around those. Shorts, shorts tolerance, I think. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of aggressive play here probably for the rest of the game now, down 4 nothing. so should be uh, lots of rocks in play, defensive from... Of course, there's four sheets of action every draw up until this afternoon for the round robin and then the quarterfinals this evening. We've got three women's games on the ice, one men's game. So in the women's, we'll try to keep you updated. It's Zemelink versus St. George. St. George with two in the first. Beside us, we have Constantini and Jones, skipped by Chelsea Carey. They're playing the second, but no score from the first so far. And on the men's side, 
Purcell and Moy or McDougal, sorry, I'm used to saying Purcell and Moybrook because they play each other so often. <laughs> um, and uh, Purcell with a single in the first. Yeah, a couple big games out there. Sheet eight, Constantini, Jones, both sitting at three and zero. Oh. We looking to fight for that bye straight through to the semifinal. And Purcell McDougal, I think, both sitting at two and one, fighting for their lives out there. So should be a couple good battles. Well, that one could be really interesting because Purcell, if they uh, take it, they would put, uh, or either one, they would be put into a two and two position and be out. So they're in, but it makes a difference who wins over who wins the pool. Right. So if Purcell takes it, Moybrook would win the pool. And if McDougal takes it, McDougal would win the pool. And on our sheet, Wasilke's happy there's rocks in play, but there's a few daggle yellows in there in the right on the center line. Junking things up a little bit. Yeah, a couple of key shots come up from Wasilke. If they can make a uh, double and kind of keep some of their rocks in play for corners and maybe spin a red into the rings or something here, might be able to uh, create some chances here. So. I think they need to unclog the center line too, but stick the shooter around, like you said, keep some rocks in play. But they want them to be red. Yeah, I'd be I'd be leaning towards hitting that red on the center lines. Maybe a sliver high on the uh, the to the left and trying to spin that red off the yellow into the rings. Um, That's what I've been looking at. They, the team hasn't brought it up yet. Yeah, they would. Uh, you know, you always want to make sure that you're keeping that center open in these scenarios as well. Give yourself a chance to score at the end of the end. Um, this is a good shot if you make it. And I know they feel like this this uh, tight guard is, is a threat. Of course, anything in that center line area is going to block a path to the button. So Stephanie Thompson. Soft weight here, though. I don't think they're playing this with a ton. Yeah, this one's gonna have to curl. Trying to sweep the curl here. They won't be happy with that. This didn't really make any difference out front and the shooter rolling out will be unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lost a little bit of angles there. We didn't fix our technical difficulties, so we're still trying to help, guys. Sorry. Nice peel there from Kate. Yeah, like a nine five, but in range. Yeah. Yeah, good throw. That's okay. Okay, we just love our fist bumps. If you can see there, Matt has to stay deathly still. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure why that static's coming through, but I'm trying to move as little as possible. I do like playing like holding my breath every once in a while. <laughs> you hear me gasp. It's because I'm coming up for air. So for Team with Silky, it feels like a bit of a bail option is the only thing now. Uh, they're not in a good position to score multiples with all those stones in the center, and they don't have a corner guard. No, there's there looks like there's an opportunity here to make uh, some yellows fly and open up that center. Um, Hit this a little three quarters high. You're, you're, I think you're gonna get a favorite. Ooh, we got that one going. <laughs> Speed wobble with a balancing act. All right, let's make contact with something for Stephanie. Yeah. 
Not, not quite that much curl in the ice, but uh, tough shot. Seems weird to peel your own, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a nice, I think, double on the, the yellow-red. Just wanted to call that. They're looking at the come around. I just feel like you're up four. You want to hit something. Yeah, it's a funny one. Like, eight end game. You also, uh, you don't want to start giving up soft twos because um, the other team can start to sneak their way back into the game pretty quickly. Um, I think I like this, actually. Keep the pressure on. Let them rip the front, try to run things back. And uh, if they don't get it quite right, oh, man. Um, if they don't get it quite right, uh, you might be giving yourself an opportunity to steal here and pull away even farther. T, back eight. Close line. Back eight. Back line. We need it. We need a chip. Curl it. Now back line. All right, Lindsay, you got it. Heavy, so they need to make contact with something. Good audible from the sweepers. They knew it was heavy. Absolutely. Great call there. I was watching uh, this game earlier with Daigle's coach, Kevin Ouellette, and we noticed that that side was slick. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, definitely some spots out there on the ice you have to be uh, paying attention to. Um, you can uh, start to uh, warm up some spots if you're playing them a lot and uh, others that sit there uh, can be a touch slower. Uh, a little bit more curl on certain spots on these sheets out here. Um, if you're not paying attention, you can get a little extra finish. Um, so yeah, the skips, uh, skips and all the players have to be very alert out there. So Caitlin asking Lauren to do a bit more cleanup. Really just give the team a chance to score. Kept the shooter. Yeah, that was a great shot. Um, I think it worked out even a little better than planned to keep that a second red around. So uh, Team Dag will have to be careful there with that biter hanging around. It's hard to hit anything either because there's a lot that it can go into with that uh, back eight foot Yellowstone. Yep, absolutely. That red uh, is in a tricky spot for uh, Team Daggle right now. Good result there for Team Wasilki. I always talk about curling in relation to new curlers. And if you're wondering what's happening, why teams are calling certain shots. And uh, usually it boils down to understanding that the score is taken after all the rocks are thrown. So everything is a setup shot until the last. So yeah. for Wasilki, good to have rocks in play. Yeah, absolutely. Wasilki uh, will not be panicking by any means at this stage. They know that uh, it only takes one or two good shots here to... Uh, to turn this end around and take a uh, take a quick two, so um, they'll just uh, they'll keep plugging away. They know that a couple good shots here, they can start to switch this around. So Team Dag will have to stay sharp. But uh, you know, Team Daggle has been working hard this off season, um, and they uh, they uh, they got a nice mental performance coach I've heard hanging around this year that uh, helps to keep them sharp and uh, keep them in a great state of mind. Uh, Shout out to Andrew Ling for uh, all he's been doing for Team Daggle this year. Um, it's been helping them out a lot, and I think they've been making some great progress in that area of the game. So they'll have the mental uh, fortitude, I think, to uh, hang in there throughout this. Like you can try that. Nice little angle they uh, set up there. That was a tricky little shot to get uh, I just want to that, uh, that perfect, and uh, they chopped off a lot of angles for uh, red here. Sometimes when uh, you've got a lead like this early in the game, the uh, the best defense is uh, more offense. Could you ever hit uh, that center line yellow on the high side, so like the right side as we're looking? 
kind of rub off the back of the red and roll in? That would be uh, that would be my first call, I think. Uh, if not, I'd probably be trying to hit the red top 12 all you can see and get it onto that yellow top 8. Uh, sit a really good second. And you might even get your shooter to stick around on the edge of the 12 foot for a biter. Um, not really sure what the call is here. This is the soft weight. They're trying to, I don't know if they can remove it, but tick hard. the shot stone. Yeah, it looks really, I don't. I don't know what Caitlin can see or Lauren can see that. Sorry. I do. I do like your call. If you could uh, get a quarter, third of that yellow with some peel yeah. weight and spin that one in, you'd set a really good first and maybe second or third. With hit weight, if they hit the front, the stone at risk is their own. So they got to get this by. Not sure they're going to be happy with this one. I'd like to keep both reds. It's good that those are both still in, but. Shots one and two are yellow daggle stones. Yeah, unfortunately, those That's reds are third and fourth. Like, I'm not I think sure daggle's going to probably keep it pretty safe here and just hit that one out on the side, try and sit three here. Yeah. Be true. hard to bring that one well, into play, but... Uh, tap, right? And no good draw path for Wasilke. They'll have to tap their own up. There's... Not yeah. a great way to get shot. Maybe an out turn going through the port, but going away from the button okay. like right now. 10. So this is a safe, like a scoreboard move. call, I would say, for Jeff. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, okay. even as it sits right now, Wasilke's still only one really good shot away from sitting a whole lot of red in there. So uh, let, taking out a red here and uh, like this. taking some risk okay. off the uh, the end is definitely a smart play. This is a 10, yeah. I don't think this will go crazy, and we've got the whole house to roll, so, yeah. Try to make a good one here. Should be up to speed out here. Yeah. Oh, it's brutal. It's like brutal. Super scratching. Hey, curl, 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 curl. I, I just know Lindsay's sweep. I'm like, keep going, keep going. <laughs> And then I was like, is it mine? Like, is it? Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not this, because this is just a. Yeah. Like, so I was like. Look at all the technology. And you give yourself an opening. I mean, tap looks close. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, no. Still two. Big shot over the rocks. Yeah. Even if the line was a little different on that, she would have got like action yeah, on the I front of the Yeah, because I don't know how she's getting it. Yeah, backwards. exactly. But she does play the top, so the top probably gives you two shots for her. Yeah. Either that or we sink another one. Sorry about that but a force is gap, here. or yeah. Kate, you're welcome, or amazing. <laughs> People who know more about technology than us. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I we found the source. I had no clue what was going on exactly. there. It wasn't yeah. Matt. Ooh. 
So, in that time, Start Jessica Daigle made the nice hit and roll off the side 12 foot. And you saw Caitlin with Silky yeah, with a valiant attempt at a raise. And uh, the line was perfect, but just a yeah. little too heavy. Got unlucky. Yeah, you, you can show a piece Yellow on the looks like here. they're sitting one, two, potentially three. It's hard to tell, but uh, I don't think Jessica's that worried. Not quite sure what the call is here. Maybe trying to guard that hole tap or guarding the red tap, I guess. The same shot that Caitlin just played. Right, right. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, probably not going to leave with Silky with much besides the outturn draw to the edge of the forefoot. Just Daggle looking for some curl here. A lot of rotation, which is normally what we like to see, but it's holding a little straighter than they expected. That'll do the trick, I think. Covers most of the red. I don't know if Caitlin can see enough to play that tap again. But I, I think she just didn't want to bounce off. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, yeah. tricky little line. Might still be there, looking from this angle. Yeah, I think she could she could play that tap if she uh, wanted to. Um, Call him the draw, though. I think I like this. It's a little scary coming across the face of that tight rock. Um, They'll be close. Looks like uh, Constantini and Jones are tied up at one after two over there. Constantini taking Hammer into the third. Zimlink with a one in the second end. So St. George up 2-1 with Hammer playing the third. Tough draw here, Caitlin with Silky. Let's see on last rock if she can make the four foot for the single. Current calls back eight. Maybe playing a tick here. Be a tight line call. Lost it. Just heavy, so now we'll have to look and see. Looks like two yellow for sure. That red might be out counting the third. Too yellow it is. Big steal. And so Daigle taking a 6 nothing lead after two. Yeah, a really great start to the game here for Team Daigle. Team Purcell McDougal looks like they blank the second. Purcell remains up one nothing, playing the third. For all you uh, curling fans out there, want to come out and watch some live curling, head on down to 948 South Bland Street. Entry's free, drinks are cold, music will be live and playing tonight. Everyone's having a good time. Crowds were big last night. There were some uh, very competitive games of Giant Jenga going on. Um, I myself got on the upper hand of some of those matchups. Was a pretty strong player out there last night. If you're <laughs> looking for a challenge, uh, come find me. Take you on. Is that your second sporting career? <laughs> yeah. Giant Jenga? Giant Jenga, yeah. It's all about patience, steady hands. Um, in Giant Jenga, can you use two hands? Like in regular Jenga, you can only use one? I, uh, oh, you can only use one in regular Jenga. You I can. That is the official rule. Wow, okay. Well, maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there was definitely there was definitely some two-hand action last night. So <laughs> maybe... Uh, Maybe we gotta re revamp the rules a little. Maybe challenge myself. We have some um, amazing food here as well, and there'll be a dance party this evening. So if you're in the Halifax area, it's a pretty good spot to come this evening. And we've got curling. Um, the final round robin draw for the last eight teams is at 4:30, and then a full draw, four games of quarterfinals at eight o'clock. Yeah, it's going to be a great night. Great night to be a curling fan in Halifax. And as we talk about the playoffs, and uh, Matt, you mentioned earlier going straight to the semis, the top, there's three pools, 
in each event and the winner of each pool definitely moves on as long or as well as the top uh, or the, the next three best records um, for all the other teams. And then of those top three teams in each Taylor. top team in each pool, Taylor. the top two records go straight to the semis and the rest play in the quarters. Clean, clean, clean. Hopefully yeah, that made ahead, sense. Kate. Go ahead, Kate. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's a tough format. You're qualifying six out of 15 on both sides, but um, you know it makes it uh, mean that much more. You got to be in every single game, and um, you start to drop beyond that one loss mark. It gets pretty tough out here. So everyone's grinding out here. Um, yeah. Draw to the buttons start to become really important uh, in these kind of pool play formats. Um, when you're looking at your tiebreakers, those right, draw right. to the buttons that you throw for a last rock advantage in the first end often ends right, up becoming right. the uh, deciding factor for those right. final playoff spots. So if record doesn't break the tie and head to head doesn't break the tie, then it goes to draw to the button. Is that right? That's right, yeah. And actually out here, I believe they're taking top out of the pool and next best records three records overall so uh you don't even go to head to head and out here as right uh, you go straight to draw the button so the teams were uh, pretty dialed in um there was a lot Mine's of a lot of really good draw for hammers out there Mine's good. Taylor. we were looking at the yeah, men's Taylor. this morning and and two and two Whoa. didn't seem to be good enough to yeah, make the playoffs yeah. i think it's probably the same in the women's side but I have to double check. Hard, hold the line. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Nice, Kate. Good. Yeah, well, uh, Team Dag will be happy with that one. Just kind of continuing to put the pressure on here. Sit three in the rings is never a bad thing when you're uh, up this many points. Uh, a little bit of an unforced error there, unfortunately, for Wasilki here to start the end, slipping deep on their first corner guard. Um, going to have to uh, start to clear up the middle here so they don't end up in a similar situation to last end where they didn't leave themselves uh, too much of a chance but uh, a couple good shots here and they can definitely still uh, manufacture two out of this setup sweeping hard on this one to try to keep it on the nose just a little bit of an over curl there Jessica has a couple options. Her immediate thought is to go peel the guard. I think a lot of people would make this call. Just hit the one in the rings. Keep the play in the rings. Team with Silky, they're going to want to keep every one of their rocks in the rings and delay that corner guard peel as much as possible. It's also a pretty high corner guard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that kind of corner guard out here on four plus feet of curl is... Uh, is not going to do you a whole lot of favors when you're behind on the scoreboard. Teams are going to be able to uh, chase around those more times than not. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great good call there for uh, Team Dagle. Force uh, Wasilki to make something precise here and uh, make them make. It's going to take a couple shots to move these yellows out of shot position, but the freeze is the call right now from Stephanie. Yeah, I do like this call. Um, a good draw here is going to be probably not removable. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is a good call. Constantini must find it uh, cold out there. Not sure what the temperatures are in Italy. Uh, puffer jacket on. Yeah, she's been rocking that every uh, every game. Takes it off to throw. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You're more of a vest wearer, I noticed. I, I've been the vest wearer this week. Yeah, I uh, I was going sweater, vest, jacket, but I kind of felt uh, Michelin man. I was it was a little too big, so took the jacket off, wrapped the vest, kind of working, ran with the superstition a little bit. And, uh, you have a soup. You have a superstition. Just <sighs> same, same outfit. I try not to. I try not to. But uh, sometimes I do. Chugged a cup of coffee this morning. That worked for me last year. Jeff really liked uh, liked seeing me drink some cup of joes. So 
did that this morning. It's, get, it's getting a little worse. Getting a little worse. <laughs> but it's working, so no complaints. How was your game this morning? Uh, we had a great game this morning. Scott Jones showed up to play. Uh, played us really hard there for the first uh, five, six ends. Unfortunately, uh, just had a little bit of a bad break on his last rock in six, and we were able to steal a couple and kind of break the game open and uh, kind of managed to keep control of the scoreboard from there. But, uh, yeah, good game from those guys, good game for us. So pretty happy with how the how the guys are playing so far. It's been fun. It's, uh, and you you had a – was it uh, Graham in to spare because Luke's gone to mixed? Yeah, we had uh, Graham Weagle playing this morning. Shout out to Graham, playing great, made a ton of great shots, uh, helped carry the boys through to a, a nice win this morning. So that was uh, – that was good fun. We uh, we go quite a ways back, Graham, playing here in Nova Scotia Juniors. We've played probably upwards of 100 games. I wouldn't be surprised against each other over time. So it's nice to actually play with them for uh, for probably the first time. And I just realized his brother is on Scott Jones' oh, team. Oh, it was a big, big Weagle matchup this morning. Yeah, there was a lot, uh, lot on the line. <laughs> uh, the wins and losses uh, for the teams didn't matter as much as the win and losses for the brothers. So Weagle versus Weagle. Weagle versus Weagle. Yeah. Chapter uh, probably 500 for them. <laughs> clean, clean. And I didn't check your record, Matt. Are you are you in the the in the we're, in crew for this evening or? We're uh, we're in the hunt. I haven't really uh, I haven't looked at it super super closely. I I think we're in a good spot. Three and ones looking pretty nice right now. Uh, a couple good draw to the buttons for us. We were sitting pretty good up there. So a uh, couple of games still left to be played this afternoon. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the outcome of those uh, mean. I'm, I try not to look at the uh, the records or the draw to the buttons too closely. But uh, I'm hopeful for us. I think I think You're we're going to sneak, sneak our way in. Which is fun. It's, uh, it's really... Uh, more than nothing fun just to get out there and play on uh, this ice for another game. Um, you don't always get spoiled like this at every spiel you play in. So uh, when you do and you can go out there and make pretty much every shot you call, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun just to go out and play. Tolerances here. Yeah. Really, uh, really, really it's just a great like event uh, for all teams that are uh, Building their schedules, looking for fun events to go to. Um, I think there's probably not too many teams that would disagree that this is one of the uh, top-run uh, club events uh, on this on the schedule every season. There's always something going on. We had the family day today. Kids are up here playing games. Yeah, we had floor curling upstairs. Oh, the floor curling was buzzing. Yeah. Actually, it's still on for another 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. Till two. Great crowd. We had an oyster bar going the other night. So two live I, music yeah. acts last night? Yes. Yep, two live and music DJ acts. DJ tonight. DJ yeah. tonight. That'll be sweet. Yeah, want to be tucked half Come on, put in on your requests. Sure. So we've talked mostly through this, this end, but it's uh, <laughs> been fairly open. Not a lot of guards in play. And we're on to skip stones. Just one with silky red in the rings and not in a counting yeah, position at this point. Off. So Jess is putting whoa, another whoa. one in. Yeah, good aggressive call here. Just uh, keep applying the pressure. Um, this one's going to have to curl a little, yeah, though. Eight. Careful. Uh, yeah, Team Daggle's not going to be super happy with that one. Um, I think we'll probably wow. see Wasilki make a play on that side red over here. I did, I did not think it was that big. Just kicked hard, I think. It was never, never taking the weight off. Just wondering if she makes contact with that, if it will go into the one in the top four foot. She'd have to hit it pretty high side to have that happen. Yeah, the angle doesn't look great, but you can definitely sit second and third. And if you spun those reds into some good spots, you give yourself a chance at a at a bigger score. Um, Looks like they're going back to shot stone, though. Don't love the shot on the play on shot rock here just because you're going to roll open and you're going to see Daggle hit it and be sitting too. It's going to be hard to generate a deuce out of that. I just think it's a hard rock to hit. It's There's a tight guard and you're mostly buried. Yeah, I'm sitting behind. You can't see much more than a quarter of that rock. So, yeah, agreed. Very hard chase. 
I think this is, I think they're getting there. I think they're coming up with the right call. I think a nose hit here with uh, a nice normal takeout weight. You'll leave your shooter in a good spot and you'll spin that red in on top of that shot rock. Uh, you got a red guard out front that you can run back if you have to. Um, I think this is probably their best chance at a, at a two, maybe even a three if you make it really, really good uh, and you get a, a half shot from Team Daggle. What do you think for the weight, Matt? I, it looks like they're playing a lot of weight. I was thinking less just to try and manage the stones. Agreed. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell with that broom. That does look like they're throwing maybe a soft peel at this, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of either. I think you're going to spring your red into the open. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking more like a 10 control weight hit. Nope. Weight looks good here. Looks close. If they can get to the inside. Sit. There we go. Oh. Second and third shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. A little unfortunate there that uh, that sprung off so hard. Maybe just a couple feet less weight that red would have sat on top of the yellow, but still a really good shot there. Probably going to give themselves think, a chance yeah, to it. Yeah. chance okay. at a couple here unless uh, Team Daggle makes a really nice roll. Easy 10, I think. Yeah. Just listening to the language um, Jessica's using with Taylor, I hear them talk a lot about tolerance, and they're always thinking about where is the okay way to miss if you're, Play the role here. you know, if you're in between two, go with 10, this I versus think, yeah. that. And you can move it at the end if we also talking about committing to the shot. There, a lot of times you'll see a team say well we could do this this or this and whatever works but they seem uh, to take the opinion that you commit to making the shot that you're calling and maybe not relying on a plan b quite so much committing to the role yeah it's good it's good to uh, have a nice confident play and see the way you want to make a shot and just call it and make it the way you're seeing it uh, team daggles looking very uh, confident and comfortable with the ice conditions right now this looks really close. They can hold it. Just a little too thin bounces off. Did they leave a double for two? It's Oof. pretty tight. I, they might have got away with move. that. That's good sweep. Good hold. Good hold. I, I think you have to hit a little less than you can see there to get that double. I uh, I would agree. Yeah, it looks like you need about a, a third of a rock and. They're going to struggle to hit much less than half. <laughs> Caitlin's willing it to be. Oh, you have to come in this way at it. Yeah. Oh, I really don't think that's there. Mm, no, I would agree. I would agree. I think you might, you can, uh, you can make contact with that rock in the four foot, but I don't think you're ever pushing it out of the, uh, out of the eight foot to count your two. She might have a different thought when she comes down to the hack too. It's a it's a s pretty steep double, and uh, that's what they're saying about the turn and the in turn. To get there is the very flat roll, and that's why Matt's saying you might make contact, but it won't push it through. It'll bounce off the top, if anything. Yeah, I think the only option here, if you really want to score your two, is probably that double run on the red, and that's uh, it's not looking too appetizing either. Looks like they're going to opt to uh, draw the pin for one here. Could she ever throw enough weight to come off that 12 foot? Oof. Don't think so. A little too flat. A little too flat. It's very flat. I just love that it might be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Risk reward might not be worth it on that one. This is the draw for the single and three. Working hard on it right now. Sweepers think it's a little late. Gonna have to drag this one. It's really curling. Once it moves, it really finishes. You got to throw the weight to uh, to be there. Sweepers will help it 
but they couldn't do enough on that one. Another steal of two for Team Daigle. Now 8-0 after three ends of play. Update from over on some of the other sheets. Purcell picking up a steal of one, it looks like, on sheet four to go up two nothing against Brent McDougal. BMAC, uh, big game over there. Constantini Jones, uh, looks like it's still 1-1. One, one. Not sure what happened in the third end there. Getting busy over there in the fourth. And then Saint two for St. George, I'm being told, so. 4-1 for St. George. On sheet one against Zemelink. I just pulled up the stats so we can have a discussion. If anyone's wondering what's happening in the different pools. In Pool A, Sylvana Tiranzoni at 4-0. and oh. They're in. They're, they're, they're pretty strong. They're pretty good. They're yeah, all right. <laughs> multi, multi world champions. Yeah, make it good. Uh, and Team yeah, Black at 3-1. Pull four, guys. Pull four. Good so 3-1 and one looks like it should be good for in because uh, the pools seem to be divided. There's teams at 3-0 and 4-0 and and, and and other teams with two losses. And I think two losses aren't going to get you in on the women's. In Pool C, Constantini and Jones, the matchup on our other feature sheet, Sheet 8. They're playing for first in the pool, but they should both be in. And then in Pool C, Grandy and Ha, both at 3-0. and I think that matchup is on later as well. I think those two teams are playing. It's the 4 o'clock. Okay, big feature at four. Looks like Team Daggle opting for the throw through here, not feeling they need to throw a second rock into the rings with that uh, first one in a good control spot there, top four. I think I would tend to agree with that call. Uh, keep it simple. Keep, you got the one rock in there, keeps the pressure on the other team. They're going to have to move that at some point. But no need to chuck a second one in there and give the other team too much to work with. And is this the second corner coming from Alice Hollyoak? Guard your own guard. Looks like it. Pretty good shot there. Those high guards are tough. Little surprised by this one. Throwing one top 12 after opting to throw the last one through. Not a bad call. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree. I think it's just defense mode. They could play a tick if they wanted to. We have the five rock rule and the no tick rule, but it's only a no tick if it's on the center line. Yeah. Taylor. I don't see a lot of ticks on corner guards, so. Not too Teams many. Don't practice them all that much. Yeah, it would have been uh, maybe an option on the first Where? rock at the end if you wanted to, uh, or I guess Lindsay's second. Take it through. into the rings. Looks like we got a one. This one's a little heavy. Go ahead, Taylor. Decided to opt, opt to carry it through. So, Matt, you got what you wanted yeah. on that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah, Team Dagger will be okay with that result. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, nice and this is a wide side come around. I'm surprised by this one. I think they've got uh, Team with Silky. They could play the come around on the out turn side, but yeah. Ashley's playing the intern. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be my first choice, but uh, maybe just feeling they need to try something different here. The last couple ends haven't been working out for them. Um, toss it out in the weeds here and see what happens. Lore, it's always Lore. 
They're trying to get a mistake out of Team Daigle. There we're seeing it start to finish. It's going to be a good shot. Yeah, it's coming in there nice. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't Sweepers wouldn't have known the speed out there quite yeah. so much, so got a good result out of that one. Absolutely. And now Frigar zone's over. Kate can peel. Yeah, Kate's a uh, very strong uh, peel weight thrower. Makes a lot of those. The Silky really needs, like we said, rocks in play. They're not going to put the guard back up. They're going to come around another time. Yeah. They could have played the corner guard to the other side as well and tried to bring both sides into play. And I find that's really a, a lot of teams' personal preference. I think there are some people that say if you need three, you really should put up both side corner guards. Yeah, it's a little uh, kind of personal preference, I guess, what you're feeling. Uh, maybe with Silky, you really liked this side of the sheet more than the other side of the sheet. So they just wanted to draw the corner guard play over there. Um, it's a good setup for them right now, though. They're uh, keep these lined up. It's pr pretty good. Might have popped out the other side a little bit, but not enough for Jessica to worry about. Looks like she's asking Taylor to make contact with the stones in the rings, or yeah. that straight peel would be fine. Yeah, this is uh, definitely aggressive. Um, you have a. A little bit more leeway, I guess, when you're up eight on the scoreboard. Take <laughs> on a little extra risk if you like. Um, Touche. I would tend to agree, though. Straight peel is uh, a very good call as well. well that's what they ended up with. Now delay tactics for Wasilki. You got to keep that corner guard up there. Those reds are primed for a double. Yep, absolutely. Make sure you uh, cover that inside red, the one closest to the center line. Primarily, if you uh, you show Team Daggle the wide one, that's not uh, not the worst result. Uh, you can't make a double off the wide one, but showing the inside one's uh, not good. So keep this one a little tighter to center line, if anything. This one's curling. Curl. It really took a turn there halfway down the sheet. Just kind of started to walk sideways. Off, off. Need that to stop curling. Looks like it's a little softer though, so that one's going to be good. good. Don't know if you need to. Be tempted to peel the corner here. But this isn't a bad call. Never wrong getting rid of rocks in the rings. We're going to see uh, Wasilki draw around that corner guard again after this. Yeah. They're not worried if they hit the guard, but they uh, okay. Okay. That's good. wouldn't have wanted to wiki tick yeah, both reds. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know if that was there. <laughs> Just because that top red, if you hit it thin, goes into the yellow, nice. there Good was turn. a chance yep. that might have not removed either red. Got away with it. And now with Silky's happy, they still have a corner guard and a rock in the rings. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's very, uh, very good setup for a three here with uh, a couple made shots. They're loving this intern path. It curls really nice at the end. It holds straight and curls, so maybe they knew something we didn't. Yeah, they got it figured out. Uh, really well they got the finish coming in there this one's out there this one's hanging a little more than Ashley's did for Lauren we need to curl but it's looking close It's a great shot. Really nice. 
This is like a nice demonstration in how to make the same shot three times. Absolutely. I think we'll see Daggle uh, peel the guard here. Um, don't think they need to take on any additional risk here. Turn this into anything more than a, a three in the worst case scenario. Probably have herself a chance at a double on her next. I don't know what else. Would they be looking at raising the yellow, you think? I just, I agree. Peel. Caitlin might put up a guard or might go in. And if she that's goes in, Jess has a double. Yeah, I think uh, anything else besides peeling the guard has taken so on uh, a lot of ball, risk. You don't need to. Uh, giving up a three here is obviously not bad. Giving up a four is that much yeah. worse. So that's I'd be yeah, I'd be opting for the, the, no, go. <laughs> the no four option. <laughs> They're listening. Yeah. That was a good call. Uh, realistically, what we'll probably see is with Silky toss that guard back like on her next one. Oh, yeah. And then uh, like the Jess end. will yeah. have a chance to play that split or freeze the back one on her next one Left to uh, take the end away. So I think th I think they were thinking through the right options. This is the right one. And uh, now they'll have those options on their next one. Yeah, I like this. She'll, she'll probably play the hit and roll, and then we just play the double. That's there, yeah. Great, just great pick here, good. Really well played end here from uh, Wasilki though, to uh, set this all up. Give themselves a chance to get a three to try and claw back some scoreboard here. Uh oh, want to make contact. Can they get a back one now? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, got the far back one. Hate, hate those. Hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, feeling a little sympathetic for the Never other team there. <laughs> Sometimes uh, close is good enough. Okay. Good control here, 10 five. Roll under. So was Silky throwing the hit and roll? Try and flop under that corner, keep their three alive. Good play. Tricky to get the roll perfect, but if you do, you're going to be in a strong position. Yeah, if this is buried, perfect. Um, Team Dago will not have much because I don't think the roll on this goes behind the T-line, so there wouldn't be a freeze. She'd have to be freezing to a four-foot stone. Yep. On it early. Have to hold this one. Have to sit. Great, um, great try there. Just going to peek out, unfortunately, a little on the open side. Not the whole rock though, so I think um, still good for a two. They'd love to get that three. Just a, what, a centimeter less of curl? Yeah, yeah, really good, really good try there. Tighten myself up here, I don't think it's gonna move. You can back it up if anything. Maybe a little less ice <laughs> for Jessica on this one. That last one ran real straight. I didn't notice this about Jess before. She has a outward motion on her throws. I wasn't watching as closely, but uh, the tight ice that worked great. Gets the stone. Yeah, it could have been uh, just a little in out on that first one while she missed that guard, but uh, okay, that was better. Yeah. yeah, she seems happier with that yeah, throw yeah, there, so a little more what she was expecting. So, open draw. This is for two points for Team Wasilki. They're trailing eight nothing, so they need this deuce, and they're going to need a lot of rocks in play in the coming ends. But make this shot first. Last rock, fourth end. I know, just between Lindsay's and this, yeah. She also has a 
more positive throw than Lindsay, yeah. This one's sliding pretty good. This is the greasy side. And they haven't thrown on it this end. It's calling back 12 here. I need this one to sit fast. And it won't. Just the difference between the two sides of the sheet. And maybe Caitlin gave that one just that extra little kick. Only a single for Wasilki. After four, trailing eight. One. We'll remind everyone that you're joining us at the 2023 Stu Sells 1824 Halifax Classic presented by Steel Subaru Neon Train and Stu Sells Realty Team. We're at the Halifax Curling Club, founded in 1824, as we reference our sheet numbers, which are 1824. We have partner sponsors, Murphy Hospitality Group, Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, Crombie Reed, Scotia Square, and The Curling Store. How about Prince Edward Island Brewing Company? Great beer. Always, a, always keeping everyone happy all weekend long. Lots of variety on the tap upstairs. Uh, it's a little something for everyone. Um, even non, for the non-beer lovers, the Colliding Tides have been selling off the shelf fast. Uh, so I recommend coming out and trying them. There's about three flavors of those sitting around. Uh, you haven't had any, though? No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> I was definitely not here past midnight last night. No. Uh, and uh, for everyone else, I'm sure they've got other options as well. I hear the uh, Adam McEachern drinks pretty good there. Um, yep, something for everyone. I'm going to give, we we asked the teams for a bit of information before the tournament. Uh, I just want to highlight shout outs for each team. Team Daigle, they'd like to thank their sponsors, Quantum Sport Theory, Group Fit, Burning Flame Candle Company. And they would also like to thank their coaches, Kevin and Andrew, Matt, you mentioned earlier. For Team with Silky, I got to read it first. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, sponsors for Team with Silky. AJ Stone, Avia, Dollars Corporation, Sage Media, Empowered Performance, Stew Cells, and all their family and friends cheering on back home. Shout out to every uh, team with Silky uh, supporter. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to guess some of them are from Milton, with Silky curling out of the Milton Curling Club. Team Daigle, this is their home club, the Halifax Curling Club. First time for Team Wasilki in Halifax. Hope they had a good time. Won't want to come back. Happy to have them down here. Great to see a uh, great variety of teams out here at the uh, 1824 Classic. We've got teams from Switzerland, Italy. we got teams from all over Canada, Manitoba, Ontario, Korea. Yeah, it's crazy. We'll have to get a couple flags up here maybe next year. Get to showing where all the countries are from. It's pretty cool. I don't think we've had too many score updates since we last updated, Matt. The Zemelink and uh, St. George game. St. George up 4-1. I think we had that before. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got a fourth end score there yet. Constantini Jones. That's that big game for the winner of their pool. Tied after four. Two apiece. Constantini with Hammer. And on the men's side, Purcell McDougal. It's a 2-1 lead for Purcell, and they have Hammer playing the fifth. Looks like pretty much what we'd expect out here on uh, sheet two uh, with Silky throwing up the two center guards. Uh, Team Daggle trying to draw around there, kind of chop off uh, the scoring zone. Um, we'll see a couple uh, freeze draws and some peels coming up here and see if uh, Team Daggle can open it up and with Silky can manufacture a steal out of this. Nice guards there from uh, Alice.
Couple curling superstitions out here from Team Daggle and Team Wasilki. Um, Team Wasilki, pregame pump up song. Curious what the song is, or songs. Gotta play the same playlist, get them in the mood, I like it. I think that's uh, that's probably not just a Team Wasilki one, there's probably a few teams out there who uh, who uh, have that same playbook. Gotta, gotta get their pregame tunes in, that's good. Team Daggle, uh, they have to park in the same spot at the club. Ooh, that one's rough. That's. Uh, I was going to say, I looked at that earlier and yeah. thought, how do you get the same spot? Especially in this parking lot. Like, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're... They don't even have the spots designated. <laughs> it's a gravel parking lot. Yeah, you're almost leaving that car there for the weekend if you want to be in the same spot. <laughs> That's their superstition. They could, they could choose a new one if they want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're just making their lives I, harder. I feel like people don't choose their superstitions, though. Like you said, uh, you just kind of keep doing it because you feel like you need to. Yeah. comes so from within. I mean, you can't argue with the logic. If something's working, why would you switch it? <laughs> well, you have to then prove that that's like the causation, though. <laughs> I think that's the harder part of that. Well, can you tell I'm not superstitious? <laughs> <laughs> but can you prove that it wasn't that? How do you prove something wasn't something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's getting too deep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have an existential crisis in the middle of a uh, round robin <laughs> curling game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it alone. We're going through all the details as, <laughs> as Team Daigle starts to clear things up with Kate Callahan. Bit Looking of a, for a peel. A little bit of a wobble. wobble in a set here. This one's running. This looks like we're getting some some back action. Oh, it's a, some good fortune there for Team Daggle. Got away with that, and look where the shooter rolled. Yeah, a little, little bit of good fortune there for Team Daggle on the miss, but uh, Wasilki actually probably won't be too disappointed with that. Uh, keeping all four of those lined up down the center line, that yellow top eight really just becomes a guard, and... That one on the T line's uh, not in a super strong position for Team Daggle, so good, uh, good chance here for Team Wasilki to apply some pressure. Yeah, we're on to Mate Stones. This is Lauren. If she can put this on the button right on that center line, corner frozen to the yellow Daggle Stone, that'll be in a great spot. Working hard on this one. Hard dive. Got to get it there. Really nice to get this by that red. Yeah, that's a great drag to stagger those top ones. That's not a bad result at all. Yeah, it's almost like a third guard. Absolutely. Team Dago could, they could play into this, but uh, scoreboard says peel. One's curling. Right out. Right out. That'll work. There we go. <laughs> I just felt like doing this. So it looks like uh, if you're a team with Silky supporter, you can catch them at the Brantford Nissan Classic coming up here in a couple weeks that's going to be their next tournament team daggle you can catch them in action at the steel cup in fredericton two weeks from now and uh they're off to morris manitoba uh the first week of december and then the box eye cup and pei following that in the middle of december so exciting schedule for both teams it's getting busy in there lots of reds Team Dag will have to be uh, careful. Those reds are lined up onto their yellows. Whichever high side, that tight one, knowing that they're going to probably touch your yellow, but you can lose two reds, roll the shooter away. 
Yeah, it looks like you got a couple options. If you uh, wanted to play it a little bit safer, you could probably smoke those two on the uh, the right side of the center line, and uh, and probably spin them both out. But you're getting tight to that guard. I think my first shot would be to hit the one on the left side of the center line, the tight guard, short of the rings, and smoke it into the pile. And you could probably get all three of them uh, moving pretty easily, um, which would be a, a great result. And you're probably moving that yellow with it. Um, it would pretty yep. much, uh, pretty much take away any uh, thing for Wasilki to hide behind. Because you know Wasilki's going around that mess at the top. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know what else they're looking at. Draw, drawing in, or, or what to hit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if the conversation is which red do we want to hit first. Um, I really hope they're not looking at the draw. Um, Team was silky finding some uh, sweet tarts, it looks like, to uh, find a little pump up. That's good. <laughs> Smiling. A little energy boost. I like it. It's tough. No fourth end break. Can't crack into the snacks easily. You gotta do what you gotta do. Fit it in in between. You always need that for the bathroom break, too. Yeah, yeah agreed. Agreed. <laughs> That's when the skip runs out. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not sweeping and using up any of your uh, your water that you've drank. You just got to need that break. Yeah. It All right. They came They came to the conclusion that uh, that's the call as well. I like it. Yeah. I really don't know what else would be better. You have hammer. You're up a bunch. Clean up the front. Yelling early here. Heart! Heart! Gonna have to hold this. Uh, ooh. Left the shooter. That's an interesting leave. Can Wasilki freeze into the pocket? Yeah. Yeah, I know absolutely. you want to move the shot stone, but I mean the dead that's what the next shot would be for. Yeah, absolutely. Please really good chance here. Like Some nice uh, T-line weight sweep for a little down. top, and you can definitely well, nestle one in there. Yeah. You hear Jessica talking like about the counter to this. If Caitlin makes this perfect, she'd uh, just gotta consider the guard, which is a very interesting call i like <laughs> sometimes you'll see a team trying to leave themselves something on their last you can just take it away yeah absolutely but i don't think caitlin has a choice here she's got to get one in this pocket yeah i think if your uh, team was silky here you're trying to play this one pretty tight to the guard so that you can try to tap it and sit one because um, like you said if uh, if they're not sitting one at the end of this you're most likely going to see team dagle cap it off with a guard and uh, it's going to be tough for the team with Silky to score. Sweeping this one early. They seem to like it. They're trying to delay the break point. Now they'll go hard to curl. Heavy, though. Yeah, a little more weight than they were looking for there. That one's going to hang, unfortunately. That was pretty much a through rock. So they didn't get that curl they needed. Yeah, going to see the same shot here right back from Team Daggle. Try to get a little low yeah. on this red. Flop in under the center. Sit two or three. Going to have a good idea on how to make this one, having watched that last one come down the ice. So with, uh, with the right weight here, they should be pretty close. And is the miss heavy or light? Because we've seen heavy rocks go heavy on this side of the sheet. It's slower, or er, faster, sorry. Yeah, I think um, if you're a little soft here, the sweeping's going to be able to hold it, um, which is a good result. Um, definitely don't want to miss this heavy on the high side. Um, Could make the shot for Wasilki if you're heavy on the high side. 
Yeah, absolutely. Dropping this a little short, uh, definitely not a bad miss. And another big thing, let your sweepers help. If you throw it there, they can't carve it. Yeah, Lindsay's a strong sweeper too, so shame not to uh, give yourself the opportunity to use it. Just something under it. Whoa. Just seemed to think there was something Whoa. under that. Yep. Whoa. Not a good line Whoa. here. Weight looks really close. Got the jam, but that was the acceptable jam. They didn't want to hit that any higher and touch that one. I just didn't like it. Yeah, good sweep. Just probably gave that a little extra. Yeah, it's a pretty. It was grabbing. That's a pretty good result there. Would have liked to get a little bit more curl to uh, not leave this double sitting there, but uh, Wasilki's going to have to play this pretty tight to the guard to uh, to make this double. This is not an easy shot. Very very thin and. Just like in, uh, I think the third end has to be the intern, outside in. Yes, very precise. Bit of a tricky one. I'm not sure who's sitting third at the back versus the top. You could, a couple ways to play this. You could play it. Granted, the scoreboard. You probably want to play this fairly aggressively to try to sit at least the two. If not, maybe the three, depending on who's third rock, and make Team Daggle play against uh, a few on her last rock here. I think last, because you're basically flat with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting way to think about it. Yeah. We're basically going to miss the rock, but then try, like, not to miss it, just at the very end. <laughs> play for the hole. It's a tough shot. Big weight, let's see. They like it. On it early. Can they sneak it by? Oh, just going to wick the guard on that one. It was a good was try. Awfully close. Alas. Daigle sits one and an open draw for the second. Yeah, these are fun ones. Eight one, free draw for two. Coach Kevin's looking pretty Thank happy you. next to me. He's gonna be pretty happy with how his team's playing right now. He's gonna criticize oh, the no peel back in the other end where they could have <laughs> peeled and they hit the one in the rings, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Can't let them get off. This is looking a little heavy. Um, Needs to sit. This one's going to need to sit. That's going to slide know. a little too far. Might just be the single. One yellow. Do you think it was min? Do you think it was min? I, I just, I just, just think I couldn't hurt it. I yeah, yeah. It there, but yeah, it fair enough. I mean, it's definitely, it's just speeds there. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Looks like we're going to carry on here. 9-1. Yeah. Silky will take back the hammer. Let's just, I think we, we just throw them through. Throw them both through. Yeah, okay. I think our, uh, I think our mic issues were for the mics we have on the Wasilki team. So we're only hearing the feedback from Team Daigle. We know their game plan. Yeah. <laughs> 
big end for Team Purcell. In end five on sheet four to take a 6-1 commanding lead over BMAC of the Mayflower Curling Club. Uh, Purcell will be very happy to have put that crooked number on the scoreboard there. 6-1 leading after five. Constantini after five. Looks like we just had a blank. So they're going to stay at 2-2 two -two with Constantini taking hammer into six. And Zemelink working their way back into the game against Team St. George. Uh, still up 4-3 with Hammer playing the sixth end over there, just getting started in six. If uh, anyone likes corn chowder, we got a uh, pretty wicked corn chowder going on upstairs over here. Uh, pretty deadly. Kitchen's really, uh, really working well. Players are loving it. Fans are loving it. Who doesn't love a good Saturday afternoon corn chowder? I heard it's delicious, and I have a, a chowder coupon beside me. Selena's in for the chowder. Come join us. So I can't say that we're not compensated. Yeah. <laughs> Compensation is just chowder. Honestly, a pretty fair deal. I think it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Team Daigle opting to throw both their rocks through here in the sixth end, up eight. Um, obviously don't really need to score anymore. Um, pretty wise play, just nothing you need to uh, leave hanging around, nothing that uh, guards coming back into the rings could jam on, nothing the other team can freeze to or use. Keep it simple, you know what you're doing, peel the guards. Um, Wasilke's going to have to play a, a perfect end here to try to manufacture a three and you still have a lot of scoreboard control, so. I always take it back to that thinking of if the other team would be happy after I throw the shot, should I throw it? And I think Wasilke would be happy if Team Daigle put anything in the rings. Absolutely. There's a nice pair of corners. They like, so this team clearly likes the double corner on one side. They don't like opposite corner guards. Yeah, if you're gonna line them up like that, I like the two corners on the same side too. <laughs> those are uh, those are really good guards. Those are nice. Are we getting a tick here? No, we're playing the draw to the edge of the forefoot. It's uh, interesting. Um, Taylor Rock. I thought they were gonna throw. Oh, I guess they did throw uh, both through Same for Lindsay. Me because we're on to second stone. This is Kate. Keep going, Taylor. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, good spot. Yeah, that's a great spot. Um, Wasilke, if you play this end out, uh, drawn around those corners, and then uh, Team Daggle going up to peel those off. Uh, at some point, they're going to have to try to move that yellow if they want to bring the rocks in play that are going to be behind their corner. So it's a uh, nice control rock for Team Daggle to have over there, knowing that uh, Team Wasilke has to move it at some point, and uh, it uh, makes Wasilke's life that little bit harder. So it's, uh, it's uh, definitely nice to have that rock sitting in there in the forefoot. And above the T-line, because they would not have been happy if that were behind the D. Absolutely. Going for weight on this one. Go, go, go. Bit further, Alice. Bit further, bit further. Go, go, go. Good drag to get that by the tight one, not leave a double peel. 16. Keeps your, uh, keeps your end alive. Yeah. Might have left a triple peel, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think. going for uh, the top. Not too complicated. I think they came up with the right one here. No point in running the high one back. If you jam them all, you're a little frustrated. Peel the the top one and those tight two are in a much better position for a double peel on the yep. next one Clean. do you ever have Curl your it. thrower want to make the double Curl. and you're just very committed to not the double and oh. you, you switch sides so they don't have a chance good. oh yeah jeff <laughs> jeff all the time jeff always loves a good double peel and i'll usually just kibosh it <laughs> no jeff no yeah <laughs> just a single just a single shut it down <laughs> No, it's uh, it's true though. Sometimes you force a little bit too much, 
uh, and you really just don't have to. And um, you know, you, you never want to, be, you never approach a shot thinking, uh, "How can I miss it?" That's obviously not the right attitude. But uh, sometimes you got to hedge the risk and play uh, play the shot that has no risk. Now, nine one. Hard. <laughs> try it. Try it if you want. Oh, they just wicked. Might get a bit of a spin here, though. No, just uh, just stopped curling. Yeah, Team Wasilki's had a couple tough ones out here. They uh, they've been a lot closer, I think, than the uh, scoreboard's showing right now. Um, you know, tapping rocks that are slipping six inches a little too deep and. Uh, Couple uh, tough, tough, couple tough, woo, hit and rolls um, that could have just sat a little sooner. So they'll probably feel like uh, it's not quite their day out there. But I think they uh, can give themselves a little bit of credit. They were they were close on quite a few shots out here. There's that intern path we saw in the fourth end. Coming back, Taylor's, uh, she made connection with the shot stone and removed it, or I don't even know if it was shot, and wicked off her own. So that four footers moved over a little bit to into the side 12. Not as much of a concern for the Wasilki foursome. They'll just put one in behind the guards here. Yeah, this one's on a nice line right now. Gonna need a sit for them. This looks good. Okay, Laura, good one. Just a little deep. Might pop out the other side that curled around uh, yeah, we just two rocks. Oh no, that's buried. A little surprised uh, Team Dale's not taking on the double peel here, but uh, this isn't wrong either. Peeling the tight one definitely opens up the back rock. Um, they might be worried. It might be worried about the jam on the side yellow now too. Oh, with okay. the double peel. Yep, yep. Hard to tell. Yeah. So you could be right there. They might uh, feel yeah. that that's jamming. Whoa, whoa! Shooter, 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 shooter. Ooh. Taylor won't be happy with that one. Um, didn't get the back one and didn't roll the shooter off. No, late, late enough in the end that uh, they'll probably end up getting away with it. But uh, it's so funny. This uh, team is like loving this turn. Like everyone that I know would default to that out turn, come around because now she's asking Lauren to overbury a rock. But yeah. it's so nice finish here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep this one uh, behind that guard. Um, Would have personally been tempted I think to go around the center guard just uh, even though it's yellow um, but looks like if you're gonna make it this good you might as well play this one looks good it's a great shot Lauren with silky You can see a piece of each red, but not enough to stick the shooter. Not that Jessica's worried about that. But sometimes you have all these rocks in the way, and they kind of get in your head. You can catch Team Wasilki at the Milton Curling Club chucking wide in turn draws. They're nailing that. <laughs> and then it's going to be tough for her to... Yeah, I don't know where she goes. She might have to go around the yellow. Think you just yeah. peel, don't you, here? Just... If you catch a back one, that's fine. Play the out turn. Yeah. You guys like the run or the pick? Yeah, I think you pick the back one. Uh, keep it simple here. You play this, Taylor. Just, just hit, hit a red her, rock. Yeah, make her make a really good uh, draw on her next one. And uh, worst case scenario, you're giving up a three. And uh, you're going to have a chance to bury a draw or something, yeah. even if she does. If she goes around that corner guard and sits too buried, you could draw around your center think, guard, and you're going to force her to... Back probably yeah. make an angle run back off the corner guard yeah, for her exactly. three right so there. this isn't uh this isn't wrong just it's uh hair low. We'll do it. make sure you miss it the right way hair 
which is to not leave your shooter out front or <laughs> jam. Or There's a few ways to miss. I guess that's the, uh, the concern here, right? Yeah, the angles are pretty nice for them. It doesn't look like there's a natural stuff on them, fortunately. So uh, maybe that's what they're thinking here. They uh, they feel like there isn't really a, uh, a bad miss with this result. Worst case, you're peeling off the guard, then that's good. You're going to have a four-foot double on your last rock to uh, limit the damage to two. Skip rocks, sixth end. Jessica Daigle. Looking for curl early. Okay, whoa, whoa, dead shooter. That's Just the peel. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be happy with that. That's good, Kate. It's good. That's good, yeah. Good. So if they, uh, there's no guard put out front from Caitlin, there's so a double on the two reds. I hit you there. Yep. Yeah. So to preserve well, the chance for three. You could call the guard. Jessica might then loop one around the center. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit of a tough corner guard to throw where those reds aren't lined yeah. up. You're probably going to be showing an edge of something on one side or the other. I don't think I don't think I hate this. Force her to make the double and hopefully get a bit of a half shot and you sneak away with your three. you threw the guard, you'd see Team Daggle, and you made it perfect, you'd probably see Team Daggle just loop around the center themselves, and if they make it uh, even half good, you're probably not even going to have a shot for your two, so this is a good call. Caitlin Wasilke. Mary Matatal I was commentating with earlier, she had a Bit more information on these girls. A couple of them have been playing together for 15 years, I think. Jeez. Nice shot. That's money. I'd be very happy with that. Jess so has a couple options, it looks like, now with that one sliding to the T line. A couple doubles, but I think whichever one she makes, there'll be a shot for two for Wasilki. Team Daigle doesn't really care about that. They're happy to only give up two. Yeah, two is great here. Giving up two here, you're probably uh, eating corn chowder within the next 10, 15 minutes. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's a, good, it's a well, well played end. If I go up and they're out of corn chowder <laughs> because of you, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. All that's left is rolls. I heard the bread's really good too. The bread, the bread is yeah. really good. Yeah, I don't know what they, where they got that bag at, but that, that it's, stuff's it's, nice. Uh, my mom was telling me that a member Girl. makes it and has made tens of Girl. loaves just for this tournament. I think fresh. Wow, what a saint! And there's the uh, there's the mistake. So um, was silky with a nice easy chance for three here. Gets to play the same shot as her first. Needs eight foot. Looks like uh, St. George managed to pick up a deuce over on sheet one to take a uh, nice jump on the scoreboard there to lead 6-3 after six. Zenelink's going to have to try to claw her way back here from 6-3 uh, with two ends to play. Sweepers say they need to go on this one. They're working pretty hard. The line looks good. Really going to have to work this one. It's going to be close. Just not making it there. That's the second time this game. Caitlin's come up late on a draw there with that eight rock or whatever rock she's <laughs> throwing for the eight. It'll be a two, uh, but not enough to keep going. And Matt, your projection about the chowder <laughs> was right. So that'll be a win for Team Daigle. They'll take this one nine to three after 
a six end game against Caitlin Wasoki, and that brings the round robin results to two and two for Daigle, one and three for Wasoki. And uh, neither team moving on because it's a tight, tight competition, but uh, great showing this weekend. And we want to thank everyone for joining us here at the 2023 Stew Cells 1824 Halifax Classic presented by Steel Subaru ne Neon Train and Stew Cells Realty Team. Hop on over to the Constantini Jones game on our other feed. Matt Manuel, thank you and good luck. I hope you're in this evening in the quarters or yes. potentially. I don't yeah. know if you can make the semis tomorrow, but whatever way, good luck. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks for having me.